Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to our lightning talk session on optimizing cluster workloads Cilium Envoy on DPU. So my name is Atakshi Mishra, I'm currently part of Marvel's Accelerator Solution team and very much interested in stuff like Kubernetes solutions, P4 programmable data planes, areas like CNI and load balancers. So we, we know that Cilium has brought a significant change by leveraging the eBPF technology. So this proposal is actually to take this step a bit further by moving all the features and functionalities provided by Cilium onto the data processing units, or we call them DPU for the rest of the slides. So these are actually hardware, specialized hardware, which are outside your servers. So modern DPUs are capable of efficiently handling all the layer four and layer seven related processing, like MTLS, transparent encryption, decryption, layer four, load balancing, and uh, yeah, so it's like most of them which directly overlaps with the features provided by Cilium. So that's why the first functionality we targeted was layer seven, function layer seven processing, which is done by Envoy today. So Cilium moved Envoy from per pod sidecar model to per node sidecar model. So why not to move that onto the DPUs, that is the out of server model. So we profiled a sample cluster to get the idea of the resource utilization uh, by various components. Upon experimental stress test, we saw Cilium resource utilization, uh, utilization going up to 35%, invoice up to 42%. So while these are just synthetic tests, we would be happy to discuss if you guys have any profile data uh, in your production environment, which shows something similar kind of high utilization. So in the next, in the next diagram, we, this is the first model which we tried initially, and this was to deploy Cilium and Envoy using the daemon set method on the DPUs. And we use the gateway API use case so that all your traffic will come to your DPUs and from there, all the gateway related processing will happen on DPU with the help of Envoy deployed on DPU. And from there, it will go directly to the backend pods or uh, the application containers. However, after that, we were able to come up with the complete offload architecture where your Cilium agent, eBPF data path, and the Envoy proxy all can be deployed or we, I can say offload it to the data processing units. So this is the detailed diagram of the uh, full primary network offload to DPU. So we have introduced some plugins to trans transparently offload all the components. No changes in the Kubernetes or pod spec has been done. So let's go to the diagram. As soon as your pod get deployed, CRI will call the CNI agent like the, the normal fashion, but this calling, this connection will, will be intercepted by the CNI offload layer. Now this our CNI offload layer will going to take all the data from the CRI, from the connection, and will going to allocate one user, one uh, interface to the user application pod. Now it will going to send all the data to the interface which is just allocated to the plugin that was on the DPU. Now this plugin will going to send all the data to your Cilium CNI in the same fashion that CRI does. After getting the data, CNI will be behave in the same way that uh, it will going to allocate the other side of that connection to the, your eBPF data path. It will going to attach that. So this connection you are seeing between the application pod and the eBPF data path is actually via virtual function pair. So we have a POC ready model for this architecture and we would love to discuss about this with the community. So our final idea is to transition all the common infrastructure workloads onto the DPUs. This will give you two direct benefits. First, compute power of the DPUs, the hardwares will be utilized, and compute power of your servers will be totally freed up to run some, to handle some additional application workloads. Now in future, we would like to use the acceleration capabilities which are offered by uh, modern DPUs. 
so that the compute intensive portions of your these workloads will be directly offloaded to the hardware specialized hardware accelerators thereby increasing the overall uh, cluster performance and since dpus are power efficient so the solution has the potential to reduce the overall power consumption of your kubernetes cluster thank you